Dude, I love it. Wow. Dude, sweet TV, bro. Might have went a little big. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty big. Definitely gonna have to get you a new stand. I'm thinking metal. Metal. Yeah. So my buddy Rami and I actually go way back to award banquets in high school together before we had any semblance of a friendship. Rom then went on to play football at Rutgers, and I was playing at Pitt, and we played against each other for four years before we actually became friends. His dad ended up representing me as an agent when I was in the NFL. Show me the money! Recently, him and his girlfriend Elena moved into this sick industrial style loft apartment, um, and he bought this absurdly massive television. And so we got to wheeling on a design because it couldn't be mounted to the wall for something that would sit on the floor. We came up with this modern industrial style and I got to work on getting this thing put together. All right, so I've got the beginning of the face frame tacked up to the table. Um, because the table's square, I'm capable of doing that. And angle iron, is, it's, it's pretty cool. You can use that overlap to your advantage. So we're gonna tack it up, tack up both frames. Everything will get tacked first. Tack, tick, tack, 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 oh. Then we'll do final welds after the whole carcass is squared and assembled. So we've got the interior dimension of these. It's about a quarter inch shorter than the, the way I cut these two. So we'll trim them down. And because this is not woodworking, I can leave a little bit of space for slop and the weld to go in there. So I've made the mistake in the past of trying to cut everything to like perfect dimensions beforehand, sort of like you would in woodworking. And it's just stupid. It's not worth it. Making little adjustments like that actually ends up being faster, in my opinion, um, and you're able to get a lot more work done in a shorter period of time. So you can see how I'm gonna do this bottom shelf in here. Make sure that these sides are matching. This will stick out a little bit, but we'll be having another piece come on here, so no worries there. Okay, so these are the interior dividers, and I'm glad I cut this now. Um, and these are cut to length. But what I forgot to realize was this has to be on the same plane as this. It can't be inset because this has a door on it. Um, and that door won't, this will be angled back technically, and the door won't swing shut. So we're actually gonna notch these in order to keep this lip inside here for the bottom plate. So I'm gonna notch this part out over here so this face sits flush with this face and I still have this tongue here uh, for the shelf bottom to sit on. Science says the magnets shouldn't mess with the weld, but I personally think they do. Now, if you disagree, leave me a comment and please tell me why, because Sam and I cannot figure it out for the life of why the magnets are affecting the weld. But be an athlete. So when you're dealing with sheet metal work and you're doing a, a piece like this, you need something to weld that sheet to unless you sandwich it, um, but I'm not gonna be doing that on this build. So I have to actually create mounting surfaces on the top of this, the bottom and the back. 
So what I'm doing here is butting up two pieces of the angle iron, giving myself this interior shelf here that will allow me to tack weld the entire way around and make the overall span of the pieces of metal smaller. When they're smaller, they're stronger, uh, and they won't have as much wobble and play in it. We're gonna weld these bullet hinges on. I've got the doors held in here with magnets basically where I want them to align. I understand the gaps aren't perfect, but I wanted the gap at the top and the side and the bottom here to be, um, to be good. This is a bullet hinge. So these will be able to, we're gonna, I'm about to mark these where they go. You just tack them on there real quick. And then you can see uh, the door will swing out and then you can pull the whole door up. All right, so we're gonna weld up a shelf to go in here. Reason I did it after was because I wanted to get 
these interior plates in um, so that when you open these up, it's one continuous piece on the inside. We're in a pickle here. Because the inside diameter of where the shelves gonna be mounted is wider than the opening. Don't fall. Because it's wider than the opening, the shelf that I measured for doesn't actually fit between these. So I'm gonna have to make a couple relief cuts to get it in there. All right, so we want to find the middle, right? We've got 49 and 3 eighths. So you're going to pull out your fraction calculator. We'll do this so you can see it. Whoop. 49 3 eighths minus one and a half, which is the measurement of our thickness, right? That divided by two equals 23 and 15 sixteenths. And then when you're done doing the maths, Go ahead, hop on over on YouTube while you got your phone out, head over to my channel, and hit that subscribe button. Oh yeah, dude, that looks great. Oh man, I'm loving it. Dude, I love it. Wow. Amazing job. You killed it. That's Thanks good. buddy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I guess in the picture lanes. That's so good. You I wanted to get you posing on it. like. So if you guys want to see some more of my industrial furniture builds, I got an entire playlist queued up for you right here. I also want to thank my sponsor on this build, Lincoln Electric. I'll link down in the description if you want to check out more from them. Lastly, thank you one more time for tuning in. Go punch your next project in the face, and I'll see you on the next video.